Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you rocking with me. Back once again, got something a little bit different for you. I have the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, Figure Wrestling Federation. Um, I don't know what they call this. It's not a slam crate. Uh, I don't know. Collector's box, I guess. Uh, this is from Pro Wrestling Tees, uh, Pro Wrestling Crate. This was a pre-order in uh, January, February. I think I pre-ordered this like two weeks before that whole Macho Man micro brawler uh, fiasco happened. I don't know if I would have ordered it if it had come out after the fact, to be perfectly honest. I, I, don't, I really don't know. I might still have ordered it. I it's so tough. Like I really enjoy their podcast. Um, and I want to support, you know, guys like Matt Cardona and, uh, Brian Myers, but if I'm being honest and maybe this is just me because I do follow the podcast and social media, I feel like both these guys are getting so overexposed, um, with like the merch and all this stuff. And I'm happy for them. I mean, they've built a whole brand just you know, by the skin of their teeth, basically, uh, just, you know, with the podcast and how it's grown from there and, 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 um, sort of exploded with all the merch and all the other opportunities that they've had since, um, well, definitely since leaving WWE, but even before that, um, so it's kind of weird. Cause it's like now that it's here, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm like not as stoked about it, I guess. I'm also way behind on podcasts, so I'm not listening to them as much. Like I'm kind of, you know, deleting <laughs> a lot of their podcasts just because I get too far behind. It's like, I'm never going to listen to this. Um, so I don't know if I'm just a little bit more removed, uh, from, from the fandom. I don't know. Um, a couple things about this box and this is the other piece about it. This is really the kicker. It was a little bit of expensive. Um, I think it was like 60, $65 shipped. Um, so a little bit pricey. It's definitely a lot thinner than I expected. Um, it's about the thickness of uh, of a pro wrestling crate. I kind of expected it to be a little bit bigger. There is some cool uh, Easter eggs on here. You got Horn Swoggle here. There's a famous picture of Swoggle basically recreating the um, the Shawn Michaels pose, and uh, they've sort of immortalized that. There's a little Who's Lucy over here, which is a shout out to um, to um, shit. Uh, not Zack Ryder. Um, Oh my God, I'm blanking on his name. One man band. Hold on. I got kids. The fuck is his name? I'm drawing a total blank. I can't, I, I could not think. Heath Slater. Woo! Heath Slater. Uh, I don't even know what he's going by on the Indies. I think he's just going by Heath right now. But um, I'm not even sure where he's at. I know he signed to Impact like really early on after he got released. And then I don't. I haven't seen him anywhere doing anything. I don't know. Maybe he got injured. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't know. Let's crack into it. They did, like I said, this was a pre-order. Uh, they, it's supposed to have a micro brawler and then like other stuff. And I think that's all they told you about it. I do know that they had so many pre-orders. They actually threw in an extra micro brawler. So we're going to get two micros in here. I don't know what the print run is. I don't know if there's going to be any resale value to them. No idea what to expect. I basically ordered this, like I said, a to support them, because uh, I, I, I was at uh, uh, take a shot. Speaking of an avid listener of their podcasts uh, at the time, um, and um, and the reality is a lot of their stuff has pretty good resale value. So, all right, let's crack it open. All right, well, right on the top, we got a T-shirt. Looks like we got yeah a T-shirt. <sighs> okay, so. This is like literally, this is like a fandom shirt. So they had this whole Stomp in Paradise uh, shtick that they've been doing. So Stomp was a line of WWE figures in the 90s. Uh, and then they just sort of do it, kind of a mashup of uh, Thunder in Paradise and Stomp in Paradise. And it's basically them on the beach, you know, super soakers and this like camo gear. There was a whole thing about it. This is like a early podcast um, shtick. I don't know, just very 90s looking, obviously. You got kind of that Nickelodeon sort of vibe um you know collect them all let them breathe yeah it's just a phantom shirt um it, you know this is the kind of thing i think you would buy at a merch table which i guess is kind of what the uh what the box is it's kind of a merch table box um 
What size did I get? Oh, I did get an XL. Okay, whatever. You know, I'll work out in it. I'm not worried about it. It's not a great shirt. I don't love it, but, you know, we'll work out in it. Um, all right, we got a pin. I think there's variants too, but I don't know how that all works. So we got a little Matt Cardona pin. I don't know if you're going to have enough light to be able to see it here because I'm doing this on my GoPro. Uh, but he's just in his, uh, you know, always ready trunks and yeah, just a little Matt Cardona pin. We got a sticker. Uh, this is Swoggle, major wrestling figure, podcast legend. This is from Live 6 in Baltimore, which probably got canceled, I would guess. This was probably meant to be handed out at Live 6, which I think they did a virtual one on. Um, okay. We got a keychain. No, oh, speaking of, there's Swoggle naked with the belt. Uh, they did a micro brawler of this as well, and uh, he had a towel on, I think. And, uh, I don't know, rumor had it you could look up the towel. And it was <laughs> it was what it was. And let's see, we got a um, Brian Myers pin. You know, if you collect pins, these are really cool. I don't collect pins. Um, Pro Wrestling Tees, is, I mean, they're doing really cool pins. Like, credit where it's due, they're really cool, they're really interesting. I just don't care. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we got some socks. This has a Smart Mark. Silver balls, smart mark sterling on them. Um, same design as the uh, um, Macho Man socks we got not too long ago. Um, so yeah, some socks. And we got a couple of micro brawlers. Okay. Now, first out of the gate, I will say this has a premium case on it. Um, which, is, which is cool. I like it. This is not what they do on the normal ones. This one might be pretty special. We got a major wrestling figure podcast exclusive Macho Man. Unfortunately, it's the exact same pose as the Macho Mans that I already bought. So guess what? We got another one. <laughs> um, cool design, though. I like that it says Macho on the glasses. Uh, you know, purple trunks, purple bandana. Kind of a spoiler for the ones I already ordered, but um, it does look really cool. But yeah, it's got a, uh, you can see it better on the back. It's got plastic that wraps all the way around instead of being a uh, glued on bubble card the way the, they usually are. That's pretty cool. And this says Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Referee, but worst kept secret, that's John Cone. Who's back with WWE. He was let go and then rehired. And actually, I think now he's been promoted to like VP of talent relations after the whole um, trash bag gate fiasco I think okay so that's everything in the box um yeah this was not a good value let's just put that out there right now this was not a good value um compare this to pro wrestling crate where you get two it's 30 bucks right pro wrestling crate 30 bucks you get two t-shirts uh often you get socks originally you only got one micro brawler so i don't know which one was the added micro brawler but you know you usually like it only came with one to begin with a pin and like a throw-in item right so realistically this so the shirt and this stuff here plus one more shirt would be your thirty dollar. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. Your thirty dollar pro wrestling crate. So is another pin, keychain, and micro brawler worth an extra thirty bucks or twenty bucks? I guess shipping was fifteen. I think if I remember correctly. Um, I no, it's not. It's really not. Um, plus the sticker. Yeah. Wow. I I gotta admit I expected. I don't want to say I expected more. It's not the quantity that, that I have a problem with, although in a way it is, but because you actually get a fair amount of stuff. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, I guess. Um, I think it's the quality of the stuff that I take issue with. Uh, I think their fans, like their hardcore fans, are gonna love the shirt. So I, I can't I can't be too mad about it. I just think that it's like I don't know. It's a little too Matt Cardona-ish. This is definitely a gym shirt. And maybe that was sort of the intention to begin with. It's the kind of shirt you throw on and go work out in. The socks um, are set. The socks are dumb. The socks are, are, are dumb, honestly. You can barely... 
Mark Sterling's getup is, you know, that he has silver hair and black trunks. Like, that doesn't show up well on this. Uh, I would have preferred, and I kind of assumed we were going to get a uh, Mark uh, Mark Sterling microbrawler, which I thought would be kind of cool because he's not, you know, a big name guy. I mean, he's been on AEW at this point a few times. Um, but other than that, he's just a creative pro guy. Um, he doesn't, you know, I know he probably does the indies when, when they're running, but, uh, but he's not like a big name guy. So I thought that would have been a cool micro brawler. You know, the referee's cool, except that it's not specifically John Cone, which uh, yeah. I, wow. This is kind of a letdown to be perfectly honest. Um, everything is like, okay. But when you put it all together for 50 bucks, let's just take shipping out of it. When you put it all together for 50 bucks, um, it's not exciting at all. It's not. I can't even say you didn't get your money's worth. I mean, I think they charge like 10 bucks for these micro bars. Let's just say 10 bucks. 10, 20. And, and we know that, that it's more than that, right? Because I think the um, machos were 15. But let's just say 10, 20, 25 for the socks is probably being low. Um, 35 for the shirt. Um, what am I up to? 30, 45, 50, yeah, 45 with the two pins. I mean, I can see how you got the $50. I can see how you got the $50. So I guess you, I can't say you didn't get your money's worth. I just think it's lame. It's just a lame box, you know? Um, and I'm going to take the L on it because I'll be honest, I, 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 I had a suspicion because of some of the merch things that they had done in the past. Um, if you're not familiar, they've been doing a lot of these, uh, well, had had been up to this point doing a lot of super limited merch releases, like limited to 100. And they, they did cool stuff like action figures that were done in the um, Galoob style, the, the classic Galoob style action figures. They've done a few releases and, you know, people that were able to get a hold of them. I mean, those things exploded in value, you know. Uh, you know, I think they charged like 50 bucks for them and they were going for hundreds on eBay, uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, but they had kind of done a bunch of other stuff, like really chintzy foam fingers. They did this weird basketball, like piggy bank that was like very clearly just cheap plastic. The whole, it didn't make any sense. It didn't even, it didn't even make sense as a branding for them. It's like something they just had an opportunity to get super cheap. I don't know. Um, but there had just been a, a, a string of merch, uh, releases that were lame. So I really hesitated to order this box, but I thought, you know, it's going to have micro brawlers. Um, it, their stuff, like I said, their stuff does go up in value fairly consistently. So I took a chance on it and, um, I'm just, it's just lame. It's just not exciting at all. Um, Sticker could have been better. Socks could have been better. The pins are, I mean, the pins are whatever, I guess. Like I said, they're high quality, but. And actually, you know, just, just from, because it's more toyotic, but Brian Myers gear, because it's more, it's full body. His pin looks a lot better than Ryder's. I mean, you can't even tell on camera. I'll bring it down a little bit. You can't even tell on camera the detail on Ryder's gear. I can see it up close and it is, it does have really good detail, but it, whatever, you know what I mean? So, all right, it is what it is. Um, I was hoping I would be super stoked and it's just kind of whatever. Um, the Macho Man micro brawler is super cool. Uh, you know, this new packaging of theirs is, is a huge upgrade over those bags. It makes it more expensive for me to ship them because I still do free shipping. Um, so that sucks, but I think in the long run it's worth it because it does look a lot better. It's just a much better presentation. Um, this is the highlight of the box without question. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not mad about the shirt. Like I said, I'll work out in it, you know, sleep in it, whatever. That's cool, but it's not a shirt I would have bought otherwise. And, um, I guess I hope I can sell the rest and recoup some of my money because this is a really lame box. So, Hey guys, future Michael here. Um, just want to give you guys an update on this, um, box. I listed the two micro brawlers and the two pins 
Uh, Macho Man sold within like an hour of listing. I actually thought that maybe I had listed it for way too little. That sold for $50 free shipping. Um, in the end, I think I just timed the market pretty well. There were a couple that were selling, like they were at auction and uh, they were selling uh, for probably 60, 65, somewhere in there. So there might've been a few extra dollars to eke out. Um, but it sold like super quick and basically right out of the gate, I, I got most of my money back for the box. Um, the referee sold the next day for $35 free ship. And then, um, I put the two pins together and those sold for 20 bucks a couple days later. So as far as monetary value and resale value, obviously the box was great. I paid 60 ish for it and, um, sold everything for what? 105, you know, after taxes and fees, I basically got my money back and I got to keep the t-shirt and, um, you know, the keychain, a couple other things, but, um, um, you know, I just wanted to give full disclosure that, uh, I did sell most of that stuff and was able to make a little bit of money. Uh, and, uh, so it wasn't a complete bust, but I still think the box really lacked a wow factor. All right. Not that it matters because it was a one-time only release, but if they come around again, I'd probably take a pass if I were you. I definitely will. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you disagree with me, if uh, if I you think that um, I need to get my head out of my ass and all that other good stuff, uh, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Click the bell icon, which might be over here or over here. I'm not really sure. And I will see you next time.